Hello DC, this is Steve here, the headbanging Zulu. Um, just bringing you greetings from sunny, sunny the UK. And believe me, it is sunny. Um, never, it's really bright and there's high visibility everywhere. Um, had a major surprise yesterday. And, uh, oops, got this through the post. And um, I'm not turning it round for obvious reasons. But uh, I believe it's from John Bip Bop Boom. Um, if you haven't subscribed to John's channel, um, please do. Um, it's been a massive education for me. Um, it's, it, every time um, people from the VC upload and I see an upload from John, I always t uh, watch it for the simple reason is he talks about some great uh, videos. Uh, he makes some great videos on the old new wave of British metal. Um, I always believed that new wave of British metal was 79 to 81. Um, apparently I was reading an article, there's all different types of opinion when it actually was. Some say 79 to 83, 84. Some believe 79 to 86. Um, but I'm a massive fan of John's because when he talks about the genre, he understands the essence of it and um, he uses words like working class and uh, he seems to understand how it came about because I was actually about when it all sort of come out of the 80s and uh, in England there was a lot of stuff happening there was this new romantic scene and uh, basically it's where blokes used to have these this hair and they used to wear makeup and uh, posh clothes and there's no way on God's earth would you go get me in makeup. So I became a metalhead. And uh, with metalheads, as you know, all we used to do was put on a t-shirt and a pair of jeans and off you go t and have a good headbang. But in them days, it got a bit serious and everybody was, you know, going to the fashion side and the music was awful. And uh, this is all this new romantic stuff and that scene wasn't for me. But uh, when you listen to John, he un fully understands the new wave of British heavy metal scene. And I just love watching his films. Um, I get something out of them every time I watch them. And uh, I learn a lot. And uh, But yeah, it's just amazing. But uh, I've already opened this, but I don't know what's in it. Um, I've already slit it open. Um, I, was go I actually received it yesterday. And I was going to make the film when I came home because I had to go out yesterday morning. And uh, I went out and uh, came back, and we had a huge thunderstorm here. And I actually caught, got caught out in it. I was soaking wet, and the light in this room was just not good enough to make a film. It would have been impossible. Um, so um, yeah, without further ado, I have no idea what's in this package. Um, yeah. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh wow. Um, Merciful Fate. Uh, Melissa. I don't have this album. Um, this uh, band is. Uh, I was getting my luck. King Diamond, and um, I love this band. It's uh, before he went solo. He went solo after uh, Merciful Fate, but uh, I. Put just an album of theirs pretty recently um, it's one of these funny bands where uh, his vocal style um, you either love it or hate it a lot of my friends can't stand it they find it very irritating but I personally love Merciful Fate uh, I also love the music as well the riffs and the drums um, they're really really hot um, sometimes uh, I list the uh, vocalist, and he, you know he, he's not a sort of natural singer. Let's be honest, and uh, but he does compliment the music. But oh wow, really stoked about this because these are very hard to get hold of in the UK. Oh thanks, John. I'm really stoked. Um, really, oh wow. Uh, oh man, no, this is one of my favourite bands. Um, oh, I can't believe this. I'm shaking already. Uh, suicidal tendencies. Wow. I'm emotional now. How did you know, John? Um, fair to say, I believe um, somebody else did a video on suicidal tendencies, really. 
Um, if it's in heavy metal, uh, to me, this is my opinion only, if you haven't got a suicidal album in your collection, you haven't got a heavy metal collection. Um, this band, I, I was very, very blessed. I'm almost in tears here. Um, I was very, very blessed with Suicidal because I, it, although I lived in the UK, I discovered them very, very early, probably in the mid 80s through tape trading. And um, all, they're always on the, the thing with Suicidal. And I just loved their style of music. It was like skater rock, they used to call it in them days. Um, it was uh, awesome. I still play a lot of their stuff today. But uh, yeah, I'm just so, I'm, I'm shaking here. Um, it's on. I've never seen a suicidal tent. You don't see this in the UK. It's just absolutely amazing. But it's got a label here. I'm absolutely shaking here. Oh, thanks, John. Suicidal tendencies. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Just, uh, I'm just overwhelmed here. Um, yeah, it's just amazing, amazing uh, um, album. I'll uh, close look here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But yeah. Anyway, we sort of. I sort of discovered this band very early on, and uh, it, um, it's been a favourite ever since. And uh, I just loved it straight away. And um, yeah. So. I, oh wow. I'm, I tell you, it's very rare you get me actually speechless. Oh wow. Rossington. And yeah. So I'm just being careful. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, John. Yeah, I've just read the, no the note. Thank you very much. Um, this album, um, I know nothing about. Like, uh, John's just told me it's a Skinner spin-off uh, band. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I know nothing about this band whatsoever. Um, but uh, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's just amazing. But uh, yeah, I know nothing about this band. I'm very sorry, um, but it's apparently it's a Linus Skinner um, um, sort of um, uh, tribute. So right, I'm a bit emotional here. Wow, I just can't believe this. I really can't. Um, but no. Anyway, John, I'm sorry about that. I'm just You just stunned me into silence. Not many people do that. I'm just stunned. But thanks very much, John, for the VCLT. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed to John's channel, I know most of the people have, please check it out. Um, he's got some amazing... I'll put a link below. But he's got some amazing... He talks about some amazing stuff, uh, especially into the new wave uh, of British heavy metal. Uh, I'm very sorry about this but I'm literally gobsmacked I'm lost for words um, but I'm feeling really a bit emotional but thanks very much John and uh, this is Zulu out